Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Here we go. Skunk is finally out of the boat. It might be the smallest fish I got in this guy. <laughs> At least I caught a fish and got the skunk out of the way. I had so many of these bluegills hitting this with a closed mouth. They're just they're tapping it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. But with a closed mouth, that's the first one I actually hooked up. Alright, nice little bluegill. That's a good catfish bait right there, man. Alright, catch and release. Nice little fight, buddy. Nice to get, get the skunk out of the boat. Alright, maybe we'll start to get the fish on. Skunks out of the way. We've got a fish in the boat. A <laughs> little bluegill, but these fish are so freaking shut down today. I don't know why. I can't. Ooh, I just hooked the fish. There's bluegill number two. I actually seen him hit it. I'm using a rooster tail. It's a 1 16th ounce black with a silver blade. Alright. Catch and release. Okay, let's do that again. Catch and release. Finally got a decent fish in the boat. I just threw that on. I had the camera off. Where'd my pliers go? Get some slack out of here. Oh, there we go. I usually catch bluegills on this. I think it was my third cast and this bass hit it. I think the bass were feeding. I thought they were spawning. I don't know, but I ain't complaining. I don't know if it's a tape measure on me. I'm guessing he's probably... Oh man, wait a minute, I do have to take my phone. Hold on a second. I know it's a freaking tape measure. Back of the seat. Where'd it freaking go? There it is. Aha. Let's see what he measures. He's probably gonna flop around, that's alright. I wanna see what he measures. Oh, he's 13 inches. Alright, cool. Thirteen-inch largemouth bass. I caught him. I think this is a rapala. I have to look. Yeah, it's, I think it's a rapala. That's what I caught him on, using six-pound test line. All right, let me release this fish. Thirteen-inch largemouth bass, catch and release. The funny story behind this rod and this reel. I was down. This, I think it was like back in 2014. I think it was. I was on my Green John boat. And the guy asked me if I wanted a free rod and reel. I said, sure. He caught it out of Marsh Creek. It was in the bottom. It was all caked full of mud. I took it home and cleaned it. I took this reel up to uh, Cabell's in Hamburg, Pennsylvania. And had uh, Jamie Schaefer take it apart, clean it, re oil it, re grease it, put that together. Working great ever since. So, uh, there we go. Just caught a nice large, 13 inch large mouth bass on it. I was not expecting that. I was expecting a bluegill to hit that. Not a large amount. Alright, we gotta put this in reverse. Oh, yeah, lock it. Wait, was it locked? Nope, it was locked. Alright, let me get out of here. I thought it freaking went out. 
I've been throwing that since the freaking start. I did not expect the rock not to hit that lure. I figured they were freaking spawning by now. No. Guess what lure we're sticking with. Now that I know that. Let's switch this one out. Okay, locked. Alright, let's turn this camera back.